Hello viewers, today we are going to be experimenting with a PBX telephone system. This is one of two units that I got. This one I believe has never been used. It is branded Lucent, so I don't know if that was yet a division of AT&T or what have you. It also carries the Avaya name. And interestingly enough, it is old enough to be made in USA. Now, I really don't know how to use uh, these things, at least from the programming side. Obviously, I've used telephones connected to these systems before, but I've never been involved with the programming end of it. So I have a, an Avaya telephone here. The person that gave these to me told me that you need this telephone for the programming of the unit. So this, I believe, is a, a new unit. So let's get this set up. Let's we'll see if we can get this to work. This telephone is Avaya branded. I'm not sure if they made it or if Avaya is just a name or I don't know. There's all these crazy names and stuff out there. This does look to be a new a new unit. We have all the instruction seats here and the cards that go in there to name the the functionality. Oh, someone wrote extension 12. Maybe this isn't a, a new unit. It certainly looks new. And here's the base. I guess we'll put this on just so it's easier to have this sitting on the table. Looks like this could be set to multiple different uh, tilt angles, which is kind of neat. We'll do that for now. The more tilt is probably the best for the video angle. Came with a nice long cord. I'll do a little bit of it here. And, uh, I do have a an outside line here. I'm going to connect this. I believe it goes here. Honestly, I'm not too sure. So let's uh, get this connected here, and I will do some perusing through the manual and see if I can get some hints as to where this stuff goes. It's kind of an interesting connector. It looks like it's only got three pins in there that are going to make any connectivity. And uh, let's see, which way does this go? I think it's going to go this way. Okay. It's got to go that way, right? Yeah. Now this has several pins in there, so I don't know if, if you could have different uh, power supplies with these or something. I don't know. Like I said before, this is pretty far outside of my area of knowledge. I don't know if this has any indicator lights on it, or what have you, that'll tell me if it's on. Oh, it does, okay. So we have a power light there, which is green, or yellow, or whatever, I don't know. Let's go ahead and plug in this telephone. I'm going to plug it into the, one of the extension plugs. Let's see if this decides to come up. doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, I'm going to plug my line in here, put that into line one. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time for the manual. 
Okay, so this is the other unit that I got. The one I was showing in the previous clip wasn't really working. So I got this one out and I connected it up and it seems to be working. And uh, which in all honesty is fine anyways because this one has the music on hold option and I don't believe the other one does. So this is probably the one I will use. Uh, if I can get this to work the way I want it to. So here we have the telephone. Let's see if we can unmake that glare a little bit. And I have, I have over here, I have the programming overlay. I printed it out. I need to get a new toner cartilage in my printer quality isn't the greatest but this is the programming overlay so <coughs> excuse me so we can go back into this now and hopefully you know, I gotta just put this on here hopefully now that I know which buttons to press we should have a little more success with the uh, programming capabilities Greatest. Well, I know that's not straight on, but if I move it the other way, it gets a glare, so I have to just have it like that. So this is fine, I'll put that aside for later. So let's try doing some programming here. So we're going to press feature and zero zero. <coughs> And that has entered us into the programming mode. Now, according to this thing that I printed out, press the left uh, intercom button twice. So, which in this case would be that. Uh, but with our programming overlay, so that's program, system program. So now we're in system programming. And I think what I want to do to begin is get everything back to the uh, user, or not user, the, the um, factory defaults because this system was used and I don't know what kind of crazy uh, configuration it has on it. So I'd like to get everything out. Uh, see, I know I had looked it up on the internet, but I've you now forgotten uh, what, the, what the code was. Let's see if it's in the manual. Take a look in the manual. So we have um, well. Let's. Um, I'm gonna have to go back on the computer. So actually, upon doing some further research, since I believe the batteries in here, I'm sure, are long gone, it probably doesn't have any programming saved. But uh, we'll do a, a reset anyways. So that should now be reset. And I'll move this back over here. And let's see if we can make a call. Good afternoon. Know-how handles big dreams for small businesses. People's United Bank NA. What know-how can do. Member FDIC, an equal opportunity lender. Today is Monday, September 3rd. People. Call the test phone. It doesn't seem to pre-dial.
Hello. One, two, three. Check, check, check. check. That was good. Test, testing, test, 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 test. It does seem to be working. Check, check, check. One, two, three. So I'm going to call it now. I don't know how it's going to handle this call. See what happens. Okay, it looks like it's working. It's got the uh, call ID coming up. Hello. It appears to be ringing just fine. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Alright, so it looks like it works. Now, um, I do want to set up so we have two lines. Where's the overlay thing? So we're working with line one right now. Line two, I'll, I'll disconnect this and move it to line two. Line two does in fact work. Let's go to line three. All right, so we can get um, get activity on each line here. So that's good. Um, the music on hold, I'm not sure. It's not a regular stereo jack, it's a mono jack. So I gotta see how I'm going to hook that up. I think eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sound card from my server and I'll run a, a loop of whole music on there and I'll connect that to the system. Uh, let's see here. The next thing I want to do is I want to test and see how it handles pulse dialing. It is capable of handling pulse and tone extensions. My, my curiosity is if I have a pulse dialing extension is it still going to output to the main line the pulse or is it going to convert it to tone? So let's see if we can figure out here how we're going to change the extension to tone or to, um, to pulse. Alright, so I've got a, a telephone hooked up here. This is in line, I don't, know, I don't know exactly how the numbering scheme works, but I've got this connected here. It is working. And I'm going to dial out in pulse, so let's see what happens. Not a valid number. What are you talking about? Let's try again. Now I hear tones coming out after it finishes pulsing. So I think this may actually do what I want it to do. Afternoon. We offer checking. Okay. We're in business. It does in fact send a tone signal out to the lion after it does pulsing. Well, that was really what I wanted to know about this system. So this this is going to solve my problem with not being able to pulse dial through modern telephone services. So, I gotta see how we're going to set this up. I may do one of two things. I may just use this as a, as a um, conversion mechanism and I'll have line uh, my line out go through the amplifier and then go to my house wiring just to get the pulse dialing to work or I may actually take the time to program different extensions and so I can have you know a phone like this out if I so desire to now that I've got this this phone hooked up I want to see if if I ring this up it'll work I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how the programming works or how it's set up at the moment. So let's call this phone. Okay, that is working. The ring is very short. Test out. Testing. 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 One, two, one, two, three. three. So that does so seem, to, seem work. to work. And now that now we're on the line, line I'm going to dial, dial the pulse again so you can hear it. Hear it.
All right, so that's working. So um, I think I'm going to go upstairs and do some experimentation with this and see see what happens if I was to plug plug this in uh, through the whole line. So I would do a uh, modem in here, and then I would do this uh, this extension because that seemed to work to my amplifier, and then from my amplifier to the rest of the phones. Well, we'll do that in another video. We'll do a, a part two on this. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and 